So, hello guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make clothing in Blender. Now, I'm going to use Dimitri's uh, uh, bone skeleton file, whatever. <laughs> so, this is going to be our base. We're going to use it for weighing, and I'm going to build the pants mesh around it. Now, here you can see which uh, buttons I'm pressing because I tend to do things really quick. And I think I will forget to mention some things. Now, I'll first I need is uh, the actual skeleton, not the skeleton, the mesh file of the avatar, because I cannot build pants around this, this bones only. I have to see, so I'm going to open the other file. I have two screens, by the way. So here's the other accessory file, and I'm just gonna import the mesh from here. I believe he will actually in the future add this mesh just into the other files so you won't have to do that. I'm just gonna select this part, this, this and this and control plus C to copy and I'll paste it here so I'll have something to work around. Now one of the things I'm gonna do while I'm meshing is I'm just gonna go to object and X-ray is gonna be turned off so I can just see everything else. Now I'm going to build a simple uh, pants mesh from scratch I've added a plane, I'm gonna size it up a bit and go to edit mode and I'll delete these actually first I'll have to set this uh, to just select the corners and then I'll position this I'll start from this side on the side and I'll have to move this here let's start somewhere on the middle, it's not really important now I'll have to turn this on so as you can see if I just select this it selects the one behind it too so I'll start I'll extrude it down just to have this start now what I need is I need this to be mirrored on the other side for that to work I need this origin point exactly on the middle down here so I'll press ctrl plus a location rotation and scale that is also very important for the exporter you must do this the origin point always must be down here otherwise the exporter is not going to work now I'm going to add a modifier it's going to be a mirror here now it's already the proper settings are already here x-axis as you can see it's now here and now I can edit this it's going to go mirror the other side um, let's turn clipping on that's so when I come close like I just do a quick demonstration when I come close it's gonna clip on the middle so I'm gonna go to the other side uh, let's just delete this so I'm gonna start doing actually I'm gonna put it a bit higher here like somewhere because this is the mesh we're gonna replace in IMVU means this is not gonna be there so there's gonna be a hole here if we don't start a bit higher I'm going to just start wrapping it around you can do probably pants on a diff in a different way but just this is the way I'm going to show right now uh, just make sure it's not touching the parts where it shouldn't be touching them because it would I don't know it would look funny actually the mesh is not going to be there because we're going to replace it with the pants but still let's just keep the proportions right So I'm just doing stuff. I am clearing selection with A, I'm selecting with C, extruding with E, and I can grab with G, air for rotate, scale, you probably already know that if you have been doing in Blender anything before. Just gonna try and keep it simple, but I like it to look cool. <laughs> so that's done. Now let's do this part. I'm not gonna bother too much about it, but let's make it look at least decent. Just go there, and that should be. We have the first loop done. Actually, this thing, I think it could go a bit more inside. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to use <coughs> a subsurf modifier. I'll press Ctrl plus 1, and this will subdivide each one of these uh, boxes onto four more of them. I can actually change here, adding more, like right now it's absolutely smooth, but there's a ton of vertices, like probably thousands of them right now. 
so I'll just keep it on one and I will now select the bottom part oh, by the way I pressed you can press Z to see it like this if you want to just extrude it down now I have to fix the part here as you can if I can in numpad 3 oh, by the way you can move around this scene with this numpad keys and just put this out here now select the bottom again and extrude it even more I will have to fix this thing here if you wanted to make layerable clothes like to not actually replace the uh, legs you would have to make sure it doesn't uh, interfere with the skin in any way I'll just make sure it's like at the bottom of this thing and as you can see it's like a skirt right now so put this in that in I selected something I shouldn't have but it actually made it better okay let's you know let's make the ass a bit inside and this can go way back in there okay so now let's just Actually, I'm gonna make a loop here to make it a bit smaller. I pressed Control R to make a loop and another one on this side. Just keep it on the middle, and now I'll extrude this part. Go to three and just quickly do that. And now the blast two, I could just select one, select the other one. No, select this, shift this, and Alt M at first, so it's gonna merge them. I could do at s actually I would it would be better if I would do at last but so now that's done let's just fix it a little what's that okay this is a bit of problem here I think that I don't want here something like this now I'll go back to numpad one and I'll just hold alt and select the entire loop as you can see it's now selected let's just check it, it seems cool and I'll extrude this to make the actual pants now the back end I can go a bit in oh there's some problems here I didn't notice that and select the bottom again extrude it again now fix it on the side, let's scale it on the y-axis oh, this actually looks a bit funny here, I'm just gonna put this in uh, select the bottom again and extrude it again it's gonna be very simple so. Just doing this a bit fast. You don't actually have to do this if you just want to test it, or or if you already did it and just want to <laughs> know how to export. I'm just scaling things and extruding them, and I'll select this and pull them out. No, scale it out a bit. Move it there. Uh, there's still a problem here. That's just the bone, I think. I think it's no, it's not the bone actually. I have to fix it. Not this, just this. Select the bottom again. I should be able to scale it in now. Just get to the bottom here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make these more uh, like a straight line. I'll select them all again, extrude, escape, and scale them in, and then extrude them back up, so that I make sort of a 3D look to the bottom of it. Now that is actually the mesh done. Now 
once it's fully tweaked if you actually do this you have to tweak it I will apply the mirror as you can see I have it here I will also make a new window into image UV image editor now UV unwrapping can be done in a lot of different ways I'll just show you a simple way select this with alt <coughs> control plus E to mark a seam as well as on this side I will select that mark seam and then just select everything and unwrap it as you can see it's already exactly the way I planned for it to be so I don't have to change it anyway just place it somewhere there <coughs> just a second <coughs> now I'm going to export the UVs now actually the problem is with blender it creates huge um, templates for like 1024 by 1024 but in IM view you cannot use them because they get resized down to 512 by 256 or 256 by 512 um, nobody actually knows why that happens I mean probably they do but I mean you can't understand that IM view is weird <laughs> so now I have to apply this texture I will just go to texture mode as you can see it's simply white now I will open the UV that I just exported I put it on my desktop and it is now actually there but you can't see it so uh, okay just make sure select everything and control plus and sound resume calculate the normals on the outside so that you can see everything on the outside now I will apply the material new just name it whatever well, you don't have to name it I will press new again on the texture tab, image or movie and select the armature here. Now that should actually texture it. I don't get it. Sound uh, muted. It seems to be done. I think I have a problem because there's no lights. Okay, so the next thing is to I'll just hide this so it doesn't uh, bother me. <coughs> have to <coughs> parent this to the skeleton so I'll select that first skeleton second control plus P and <coughs> use with empty groups here now I'll select the skeleton <coughs> go to pose mode and shift select the object and go to weight paint I'll press Z oh I could just put this here <coughs> I'm going to put weight on one and here to add I didn't press it so I'm going to wait the bottom the upper actually to spine so it moves a little bit with the spine now if you press Z correctly and if you have this on it should weigh the bottom the back part as well I will now go to actually I can't see them. I will just go out and put the x ray back on. And I'll just repeat the process. Select the hip. And the hip should have something like this weight. I'm going to do it th this really quick. Actually, you would need to tweak this for quite a long time. Actually, I did it for like 30 minutes on the actual pan smash that I submitted. So just paint everything you want influence with. You can change the numbers here. Just takes a lot of practice and getting to know. So this should be on the right side and this is gonna be on the left side, but just paint it all to somewhere or to the knee area. And the bottom goes here. <laughs> okay, now you can actually test this inside Blender. Press Z so I can see it. And I'll twist them with rotate. You can see it's already <coughs> properly weighed. 
wait, weighted, whatever. I don't actually know if it's weighted or weighed. I should look it up on Google. So just test it. As you can see, it's not perfect. I've actually painted some of these things. Uh, you can see the the left, the right leg moves with the left leg, which is not good. I should go and manually fix that, but I, I won't do that. Now <coughs> I'm going to select this and this, and I will. I would recommend that you open the console, but I already have it on my other screen. Actually, I don't. So I'll open the console put it here and try to export hopefully everything is going to work I will export it to my desktop everything I will need is materials and mesh I'll name it plants tutorial export and check the console did it work it says warning this vertex has no influence that mean it means I did not paint them all with way paint but it should still all work properly well not exactly properly but it should all work now I'm going to have to open IMU to test it create mode derive mail bottom and now we wait let's add it pants tutorial that should already work oh, as you can see these are the vertices that we got the error with I did not paint them so they're just there somewhere okay I have huge problems when I <laughs> cut outside of blender and try to move with the same shortcut keys okay let's add the material and the actual texture which is here as you can see it is very low quality because IMU has resized it. Now just forget these things and let's say we fixed them, but we actually didn't. I'll add some poses here. These are mine poses actually. So let's test it. As you can see here, well, it's actually this part is very annoying, but I don't really want to fix it right now. As you can see, the bottom looks quite nice here this thing would need some fixing other than that it looks nice so thank you for watching if you have any questions just pop them down and I will try to